My neighbors must think I'm crazy. <laughs> tires are on the gator I want to focus on tearing this engine right out there are a lot of things that have to happen before the engine can actually come out so it's just about taking off the right parts and, and leave the parts that you don't have to touch to save time I love this machine I'm halfway done with tearing out the engine and I've only used three tools. I have a flat head, a pair of pliers, and a half inch wrench. strategy when I deal with stuff like this where I'm going to tear it apart and then possibly put it back together in the future or even if I don't think I'm going to rebuild in the future I tend to take bolts and nuts off and then once I disconnect the wire I put the nut or bolt right back in that way I don't lose anything now obviously not a lot of you will be working on gators but when it comes to like you know like video game machines lawnmowers go-karts do you guys find the same thing helpful and if you have a different tip or trick, leave it in the comment section below. I'd really appreciate it. Speaking of computers, I'm actually interested in building one. I want something quicker and faster, something that I can potentially edit 4K with. My, my computer that I have right now isn't really cutting it. So if anybody knows anything about that either, leave that in the comment section below. I'd appreciate that as well. Chances are I'm still going to build it myself. It's just, is it going to work kind of thing. Sounds good. What I've learned in the past is before you start reefing on everything and trying to be forceful and be a he-man woman hater, you just double check, make sure everything should come apart, and even then, stuff can hit the fan. He-man woman hater, ah! That's surprisingly heavy. I, I guess that's cute. I don't think it's extreme enough for me though. I like raw ponies. See, this is like a small little pony, maybe even a miniature pony compared to what I'm going to put into this thing. I'm going to put in like a fleet of Clydesdales, is that what they're called? Like the Budweiser trolley thing? I think that's what they're called. Yeah, yeah, this this did it for downhill occasions, I guess. Not, not up hill occasions, it sucked for that. Look at all this room for power activities. I'm actually probably going to have to modify this. We're probably not going to have enough room. I love the sound of that. I guess I should try to explain what I'm doing. I have these toolboxes, and this this toolbox was always stationary. I always put it right here, but then I put this toolbox here because it looks better here, and it's less wobbly than it was over there. Saying that, I don't use the spray paint a lot. This is kind of my work zone, so I figured I'd move the spray paint out of the way and put this where I can use it. Makes sense, right? Believe it or not, this spray paint used to be all organized. It still might be organized. I'm just gonna slap it up on the shelf. This is much better because now, I was looking for this stuff. Now, I can put that right in there. Hi, can I have a BLT please? I'm sorry, I'm sorry to hear you whatever's around you. 
I got a loud truck. I can tell. Okay, well I'll pull up with the rest then. A what? Dog treats like for an animal? Sour cream? No, we're not we're not we don't we're not allowed to give out uh doggy to make that Alright, sounds good. Okay, just Sorry the about that. just the bagel then. Okay. Thank you. Prince, I tried to hook you up. They don't they don't sell dog treats, I guess. I guess my truck is slightly louder than the average vehicle. They they can't really hear me. Prince and I found ourselves in the woods. You, you can't see that's the thing about dogs. They have those puppy dog eyes, don't you? There it is, Prince. Go get him. Go get him. I don't know what that was, but Prince wanted it. Dogs have those puppy dog eyes. You know he wanted to go for a walk, so I, I figured I'd treat him, go out to the woods. I mean, we got the engine out of the gator, and I'm kind of waiting on computer parts, and I'm kind of waiting on GS parts. So it's all a win-win, and also I want to do more with the 3D machine store. What the heck did you find? So I want to get the creative juices flowing, and that's why I came into the woods, you know, nature. For some reason, when I walk, that seems to drive my creativity. I don't know about you. I I'd like to know where you find your creativity. Leave that in the comment section below. Maybe I can learn something from you. But I mean, just on this walk, I had a couple t-shirt ideas, a couple hat ideas, and then also something big for, like, videos and stuff. Like, something, like, no YouTuber has. I'm excited. Thanks for the walk, dude. It's really helping me out. Come on, quit your mud bogging. Let's go. Come on. No, come on. Come on, Prince, look at this, hurry up! There's something over here! Now you're an all-black dog. I'm on to your tricks. Granted, Prince and I only walked probably a quarter of the trails, maybe even a fifth of the trails. The trails are actually in really good shape. The other side, though, might be, might be another story. But I gotta hurry up and get to that truck, because Prince is clean. I'm gonna outsmart them this time. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Until tomorrow, stay froggy fresh. 3D Machines out.